Undoubtedly, SpaceX happens to be the most exciting company in the aerospace industry, so much so that SpaceX was able to redefine the way we look at space travel, especially with their reusable rockets. Elon Musk also stays near his SpaceX factory in a tiny $50,000 house in Boca Chica near Starbase. SpaceX is not just your average aerospace company because the company wants to colonize Mars. That's exactly why the company exists today in the first place. But before colonizing Mars, SpaceX got the contract worth $2.9 billion for building the human lander system for the Artemis project by NASA, which happens to be a lunar mission by NASA scheduled to happen in 2024. This is really exciting because it will reignite our interest in exploring what lies beyond our own planet, and this time NASA will be taking the first female astronaut and also the first man of color onto the south pole of the lunar surface for a much longer time than the previous Apollo missions that took place way back in the 1960s or early 70s. If SpaceX is a company that is doing big things in the aerospace industry, you could expect their rocket factory to be some of the most advanced manufacturing facilities out there. So what exactly is going on with the SpaceX factory? Well, SpaceX factories build Starlink satellites. And for those of you who don't know, Starlink happens to be a very exciting and ambitious project for SpaceX that is looking forward to providing satellite internet connection all over the world. But right now, the priority for the Starlink project is to deliver internet access to some of the world's most remote areas where internet access is not readily available because internet service providers don't bother to reach out to these places with their fiber internet connections. Because satellite internet technology is still in its infancy, a fiber internet connection is far superior to a satellite internet connection in terms of latency and data transfer speeds. But that will change soon because we know that SpaceX is a company that shows progress at a much faster rate than anybody else in the industry. Right now, there are more than 1,600 Starlink satellites orbiting our planet, and this number will increase moving forward, so it might cover our entire planet very soon. Maybe the satellite internet connection will get better to a point where we may no longer need those fiber internet connections, and maybe you can use the Starlink internet connection wherever you go. Satellite internet has a plethora of applications. Even Tesla could use Starlink internet for all of its connectivity features. Apart from Starlink satellites, we also have SpaceX rockets being built in these factories. First, let's talk about the Falcon 9. Musk initially had a plan to get to Mars by 2010, but it was not easy because just building one rocket that could go into orbit took about six years. The Falcon 1 orbited Earth for the first time on September 28, 2008, and this paved the way for a nine-engine version of the rocket, which is the Falcon 9. The Falcon 9 has always been the company's workhorse, ever since it first launched in 2010. Now, for those of you who don't know, the Falcon 9 is a two-stage orbital rocket that is being used to launch satellites for companies and governments to resupply cargo to the International Space Station. The way how Falcon 9 is different from its competition is because of its unprecedented ability to send payload into orbit and then have its first stage return to Earth, landing either on a solid ground or on a drone ship, which happens to be something that SpaceX was very successful at. Next, we have the SpaceX Dragon spacecraft that is also built in SpaceX's own factories. And this one is used to carry cargo to the International Space Station. And on May 31st, 2021, the Crew Dragon made history as the first commercial spaceship to send astronauts to the International Space Station. The Crew Dragon was also the very first commercial spacecraft to be recovered after a trip from orbit. The other thing that comes out of these high-tech factories has to be the Falcon Heavy. And the Falcon Heavy did grab a lot of attention way back in February of 2018, when it was launched as the most powerful rocket from the US ever since the Saturn V that sent astronauts to the moon. For starters, the Falcon Heavy is basically Falcon 9 rockets strapped together. The Falcon Heavy has the highest payload capacity of any currently operational launch vehicle and the third highest capacity of any rocket ever to reach orbit. The Falcon Heavy's maiden launch was conducted on February the 6th, 2018, sending a test payload consisting of Elon Musk's own red Tesla Roadster. The second launch of the Falcon Heavy took place on April 11th, 2019, and the third one was on June 25th, 2019. Next, we need to talk about the Starship, because this happens to be the flagship rocket from SpaceX. SpaceX is still using Falcon Heavy for the large payloads right now, but that will be soon replaced by the Starship, which was earlier referred to as the Big Falcon rocket. 
With the Starship, Elon Musk is hoping to put humans and cargo onto the Red Planet, and moving forward, he might even want to get humans to travel the entire solar system and beyond. He also wants Starship to ferry people on superfast international flights via space and eventually build bases on the Moon, Mars, and beyond. The single Starship prototype called Starhopper left the ground for the first time way back in July 25th, 2019, hovering about 20 meters off the ground before landing a short distance away from SpaceX's test facility in South Texas. This was followed by a few more prototype tests ever since, and right now Starship is looking forward to its first orbital test flight that will happen by the first quarter of 2022. So right now in the SpaceX factory, the most important rocket of theirs has to be the Starship, and the company is also working on the tank for the Super Heavy Booster 4 that SpaceX plans to use for the Starship's orbital flight launch. So yes, SpaceX is a company that is doing really well in the aerospace industry, and one of their most ambitious goals is definitely to get to Mars. But the company was also involved in non-space projects like the high-speed Hyperloop concept. Even Elon Musk's boring company, which is all about tunnel digging and traffic mitigation, is also operating out of SpaceX headquarters in South California. SpaceX is not publicly traded yet, and Elon Musk does not want to take this company public until it gets to Mars. This shows that the company is very serious about its Mars goals, and we need to pay close attention to what the company will be doing in the next decade. Elon Musk is also considering constructing a star-based city that will serve as a base for every interplanetary mission on Earth, as well as a city for those who work for SpaceX. And this could eventually be converted into a tourist destination. A city that is completely based on space technology is very exciting news for all of us. So, if you're planning to visit SpaceX Texas's launch site in Boca Chica, there are big things happening in this small Texas town, which is located at the southernmost tip of the state. Boca Chica has rapidly become a popular destination for space enthusiasts all around the globe. It all started way back in 2013 when Elon Musk, the founder of aerospace company SpaceX, announced that he was considering the small coastal town as a site where his interplanetary spaceship would be built, and he kept his word. The futuristic spacecraft is on its way for its first orbital test flight, and space enthusiasts are looking forward to catching a glimpse of the progress and eventual launch. SpaceX can launch a rocket for $90 million, compared to the $380 million charged by other rivals in the industry. The lower cost is mainly due to in-house manufacturing. So rather than spending $50,000 to $100,000 on radio equipment and other communication equipment, SpaceX was able to develop it in-house for $5,000. As a private company, SpaceX is also free from restrictions associated with the government bureaucracy that normally plague organizations like NASA. This means that Musk will be able to develop his company at an incredible pace, and also rapidly create parts and equipment required for his rockets, and also secure launch sites along with hiring employees for competing companies and universities. Musk clearly wants people to know that rocket design is not the hardest part of the process, but trying to manufacture each part in a cost-friendly way is a major challenge. Musk also mentioned that humanity would be a multiplanar species if we could reduce the cost per tonne to orbit to a point where we could afford to become a space race civilization and a multiplanar species. SpaceX's promise of reusability, lower launch costs, and easier access to space is now a reality, all thanks to the efforts of the company, especially with their Falcon 9 and the Starship rocket. Elon Musk clearly did not like the idea of single-use rockets, and to make it clear, he compared it with airplanes. Because if airplanes were made to be single-use, then air travel would be a lot more expensive than what it is today. But that is not the case, and it makes a lot of sense for rockets to be reusable as well. And that's exactly what SpaceX has always been trying to do. And they did just what they said they would do. So, most probably, SpaceX might be the company that will be taking us to Mars and beyond, and will make humans a multi-planetary species. And it all starts from the factory in Texas.